South ASMR, and I have some terrible, terrible news for you today. After a long, long, long night of deliberating, contemplating, I have decided to just return the Sigma lens I just got, the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f 1.8, and I'm going to tell you why. lens is the first lens that I've ever bought for my camera besides the starter kit lens that I have right now and honestly this lens is not as bad after really messing with the setting I always film on auto mode and autofocus because as you know when I move around the autofocus is changing continuously that's the only reason why I'm still in focus when I move forward and backward, you know, it's really good. And what I really like about this lens now that I have something to compare with is that it is extremely silent. I've never heard a sound coming from that lens as it is autofocusing. For example, now, you don't hear anything, you know what I mean? using that lens. Oh my god, I love that lens. Let me tell you, the image was so sharp. The video quality, the low aperture, oh my god. The background was amazing. I loved it so much. But it is not a viable option for me right now, using that lens to film videos. As you know, a lot of my videos are ramble, sounds video, and most of all, the role plays, which most of you find most enjoyable. And I tried to film a haircut role play earlier last night, and it didn't work. Role plays like the haircut role play requires me to be close and further away constantly. That the autofocus continues to try to find the focus and it is not very good at it. It's not slow, but it's loud. I don't know how to explain it, so I wish I filmed an example before I packed it up. I packed it up here. on him, just return it. But I wish I had recorded a sample video for you guys to understand why I've made this decision. So, as I was coming closer and pretending to cut your hair, the autofocus cannot really find the focus like that. It wasn't like, snap, there it is. It was continually, continuously going back and forth and the autofocus sound was like this. Okay, that might be relaxing if someone is doing it on purpose, but then if I'm trying to make a video, a role play, and that is in the background, it is not gonna work. And um, I try to zoom the camera all the way, so to 35 millimeter, the maximum. So I could hide the microphones so it is not in in view because obviously roleplay is about immersion. So I can't just have two microphones there. You know, it defeats the whole immersion. It kills it. So after turning it to 35 millimeter, moving my mic away, the microphone was around, let's see, I would say two to three feet away. These microphones right here. And I was just trying to do a test with like the hand to make it focus. It did not end so well, unfortunately, because the mic picks up every clicking sound. And honestly, if I talk over it, you wouldn't be able to hear it. Or if I am not making an ASMR video, you probably wouldn't be able to hear it with these microphones. But because 
because I am doing an ASMR video, I have to be in a quiet environment, and sometimes I don't speak because I'm cutting your hair for you to hear the sound. That clicking autofocus noise becomes very apparent, and it ruins it for me. Some of you know I'm extremely OCD about sounds. If I'm not, I will be throwing videos out at you. Whatever quality it is, I'll just release it. But because of how OCD I am and try to perfect it, it bothers the crap out of me. And that's why I decided to just return the camera lens altogether. That decision came after I researched for like 30 hours. No joke, I literally got the lens. And ever, t ever since I started hearing the clicking sound, I research every night. And right now it's 5 a.m. and two hours ago I've been researching as well. And honestly, a lot of videos started coming up for me to see that there is this underlying problem of for this lens, the loud autofocus noise. Don't get me wrong, I already said that this lens is so, so good. If you're not doing ASMR. <laughs> and I'm so, so sad that I have to give up this lens because of how loud the autofocus is. I did mention it in my last video and some of you and most of you said you couldn't hear it. But a part of that video, near the end of that video, if you uh, watch that part where I move up and back to s show you the bokeh effect, that sound really came out. Um, and you can hear the so loud and it just bothers me so much and I just cannot in my conscience film a video with that sound knowing that that sound is in the background so I have to give it up and um, I will continue using this lens which honestly now that I'm looking at it does not look too bad but I did invest in some better lighting equipment on Amazon again. Thank you, Amazon. And um, I bought these lighting used, but it said like new, but the price is ridiculously cheap compared to buying it new. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go for it. It's prime. If I don't like it, I can return it, I think. But yeah, I hope the lighting would fix a lot of the OCD I'm having because the main reason that I decided to invest in that Sigma lens right here is because it has a low aperture for the blurry bokeh background. This lens is um, the lowest is I think 4 4.5 I'm not sure which one but it's around 4 I think it's 4 to 5.6 or 4.5 to 5.6 aperture and f-stop and that is too low to have the blurry background. I think the low, like the best one is 1.4, 1.8 and even 2.8 is good. But a 4 is too high and not possible. Or, well, maybe it's possible. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Um, but it's not good enough to give you that bouquet effect. And um, that kills me. I'm so sad. I really, really liked it. A lot of you liked it. Um, and honestly, the Rambo video I uploaded, you can't really hear the autofocusing sound on that video because I was sitting and going side to side like this, not forward and backward. So going side to side, the, the range is still fairly similar the click close like probably like an inch or two so it'll make like a one click or two click sound but if I'm doing a haircut role play that's different because I have to walk up to you like this cut your hair move back and if I'm con constantly doing that it was just
honestly feel like an expert at this point with <laughs> camera lens because I did I basically took a college course um, with the amount of hours I spent researching it was from researching um, to buy this lens to why this lens making loud noises to alternative lenses I think I spent a good 40 to 50 hours just researching and as you know I have been very free with my time <laughs> for obvious reasons um so yes I will be returning that lens sadly I love that lens so much if I have so much money I will keep that lens for other purposes but I do not have that much money to spend on a lens that I won't end up using for my main purpose which is making ASMR videos so um I'm gonna go cry <laughs> in in my own time um so the good thing is I still got these two microphones that work so well I love it so much I was gonna do this um soft spoken but my voice wouldn't come out softly <laughs> oh my god ASMR this problem I eat like chocolate chip cookies I don't know if that's the reason but I drink a lot of water to hydrate myself and as I was trying to speak softly my voice nothing comes out it was just really scratchy <laughs> nothing came out so I'd rather whisper <laughs> instead but these are amazing um I will be doing a microphone comparison with the Rode, the Blue Yeti, the 3DO, and possibly the Zoom right here as soon as the wire comes in for the uh, power bank connection. This Duracell battery is trucking. <laughs> it's doing so well. I still have one more after all the tests I did and the previous recording and um, right now it's been like 12 minutes. It's still going strong. to say besides saying bye to this beautiful lens um, and uh, one more thing is if any of you are an expert in videography or photography and you are very familiar with Canon and Canon lenses or cameras in general let me know in the comment section I really need help <laughs> I have a friend who is helping me finding a quieter lens because I do still want to make an upgrade um, but it's kind of hard because I am very picky I know I'm very I know I'm very picky but that's not the thing when I did a lot of research um, for example I looked at the nifty 50 the Canon lens the Canon 50 mm STM lens f1.8 now that sounds amazing for me because I know what I'm talking about now I know exactly what I'm talking about but that lens is for a full frame this is a crop sensor so for the 50 millimeter I would have to put this camera all the way against the wall and I have to be on the other side of this wall which is approximately like 10 feet and then I'll still be right there because the lens is designed for full frame which means the 50 millimeter will have to be multiplied by 1.6 so in actuality for my camera the lens is going to be around 80 millimeter so for example I'm filming at around 30 right now focus and if I turn it all the way this is 55 if I, I'm going to be all the way over there so um yeah this is the one more like this yeah so that lens is not gonna work and another thing is people complain about how loud the autofocus is and <laughs> that's another problem so I can't even use that lens for ASMR then I look at the 24 millimeter also Canon um, it's an EFS lens I think so it will be around 24 millimeter for my camera but again people complaining about how loud it is and the problem with 
that is Canon advertised STM lens as silent is like something steeper or something motor. It is supposed to be silent, but then they never specify that there are two types of STM lens. One of them is really silent, which is the one I'm using. The other one, which is the nifty 50 and the 24 millimeter are made with different mechanical parts and that those lenses are louder when they try to on focus but the the stress level I'm having the stress I'm having is because 50% of people are saying it is loud the other 50% are saying I don't have any problems I don't know who to believe I don't believe anyone at this point <laughs> so I'm just like fuck it I'm just gonna get a new lens another time and just focus on my lighting using my starter kit lens and try to just try to perfect it and increase the quality as much as I can and if I do save up enough money I'll probably just go out and buy a Sony mirrorless 4k camera I don't know well I'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching and <laughs> I gotta say bye to my Sigma lens give me some